Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna get into how to set up your business information in Google Merchant Center. Without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Hey guys, so now we're in Merchant Center, we're in the dashboard right now, and we're gonna set up our business information settings right here. So go up to settings at the top, go down to business information, You'll meet this screen here, so you're gonna make sure you fill out this information as accurately as possible. So your business display name, just put that in. It should be the name of your store, the name of your brand. That's what people are gonna see uh, in shopping. Your business address, just include that whatever your address is for your store. If it's a fully virtual store and say so you're drop shipping, you should have some sort of mail that you're sending any tax or business sort of stuff too. Even if customers don't know about this, I would still put this in here as well. And put in your phone number too. Um, so that's a really good thing. Even if it has to be your personal one, you're gonna need to put a phone number in. Um, for here, this is for customer service, contact. Same thing, just put the same number in there as well. You can make it just go to voicemail. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna have to put that number in and put your email and your URL. So once that's done, it's pretty straightforward. Um, go to your the website section. And this is where you actually verify and prove to Merchant Center that you own this URL. So you don't just sign up with someone else's URL and claim it as your own. So um, put the URL in here. Um, and make sure you've got the HTTP, um, HTTPS. Um, it should be secure. If you don't have a secure website, you know, that's 10 years ago, you know, you should be fully secure with an SSL certificate. Um, so it says unverified and unclaimed. So that means that, you know, we got to set this up. The easiest way is with Google Analytics account. Um, so make sure that you've got Google Analytics installed and you have edit permission and make sure that you know you have the same uh, email address on analytics as you do on Merchant Center and then you're going to go through and click verify and there's going to be a bit of a process there but another way is Google Tag Manager so um, you can verify as long as you can access the Tag Manager as well if you don't know what Tag Manager is it's basically just a way that you can add easily add code to your website um, without needing to actually go in and edit the code every single time. It's really, really handy for marketers, but it is a bit advanced. Um, but if you have that set up, you can. The other easy way that's a last resort is you can um, go in and add a HTML tag to your site. So you can go into the theme settings in Shopify, if it's a Shopify site, and actually edit the code and add that in. Um, and you're gonna add in this, this code here um, and then click verify URL and go through that process. But if it say it's a WordPress website on, or it's a WooCommerce on WordPress, then you can download this file and then go into the, the actual server where you have your site stored and upload that as in the root. And that's another way you can verify. Either one of these, I really recommend Google Analytics. That should be the most straightforward for you. Um, if you're having problems with that, just leave a comment and I'll see if I can help you out. But should be pretty straightforward uh, for that. There's also a lot of resources online too. Uh, for the branding section, uh, this is where you gotta put in the stuff about your brand. So the main branding color that you have and it's in hexadecimal format. So, uh, or you can do in actually RGBA as well, but as you use hex, um, and so, so for example, if it is all black, it would just be one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's all white, sorry. Yeah, if it's all white, it'd be that. If it's all black, it should be three of those. Oh, oops, I'm messing this up, I can't type today. Uh, three, so that'll be all black, whatever your main color is, and that's going to theme in the actual shopping ads. Um, and accent as well, that's optional, but you can include that too, just for an extra design. And then you want to upload your logos here. So it has some information here about the requirements. Um, I recommend putting in PN, you know, it has to be PNG, but transparent, make sure the background's transparent, put that in as a square. Even if you have to change the layout of the, the logo, uh, put that in. And then the same for the rectangular. And you're gonna have to match the same uh, the same ratio here, um, like of, of um, two to one, uh, which you know might be a bit fiddly because it means you're gonna have to go into whatever editing software, Photoshop, GIMP, or whatever, uh, even Canva potentially, and then just edit the actual size. Yeah, even if your logo fits within that amount, the actual image has to be that size. They're pretty strict here. Once that's done, that's everything for the, the business information setting. So that's all the different parts. Um, that should be everything. If you have any questions, please let me know in the, in the comments. Um, but that should be everything. Okay, so that's how to add business information into your Google Merchant Center account. If you have any questions about what we've gone through, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can right there in the comment section. Otherwise, if this video was helpful, please like and please subscribe if you wanna see more videos on what's to come about how to grow your e-commerce store remotely. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.